Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Chof, and I was thinking of coming back into 40k, so what better channel to check out than Bricky? This is every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell. Let's go, yo. Let's bring back some 40k on this Many channel. Many of you have come across my Every Faction Explained yes, video. Yes, it was amazing. Firstly, thank awesome. you. Secondly, we are here to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of yes. Warhammer 40,000. Ultramarines. I remember some of these stuff. I haven't watched 40k in like years, but... It's fun. But when people think 40k, they think space marines. But yeah, they're cool. there are many types of space so marines cool. formed from 20 separate legions. We are going to rattle them off in order and give you a quick rundown of each one. A disclaimer, like in my Every Faction Explained video, huh? this is a mix of accuracy Damn, nice Tito. And memes. If Best I say type of combination. The Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting puppies. Yo, yo, they aren't that picture makes the Salamander dude look so cute, though. What the hell? This exactly one doesn't. Doing that, mostly. This one's doing it right. Ugh. I would like to pet this creature. But you can That's infer that they though. care about civilians and are a bit kinder than the average space yeah, marine. Yeah, cool. A space marine being a genetic modified those. super soldier that's had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them. Refrigerated. They got like five hearts and 13 ball sacks. Lore-wise. Raiders strapped to their bodies and are so far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Each space marine has a father, unlike you, a Primarch, which is basically a well, father. Mom's kind of missing from time to time. Even bigger space marine that was oh, forged in a lab by the god emperor of mankind. Yeah. That gigantic the golden big dude you see everywhere who is both the leader and now the martyr of humanity. The primarchs well, are his. He's still kind of the leader, right? Because he's technically dead, but technically alive, but technically still doing stuff. It's 20 weird. 40 sons is weird. Built in a lab who lead 20 legions of space. Wait, what about the. What about the twins? Wasn't there like the twin secret spy master dudes that had like one or they did they have one or two legions? I don't Marines. Or God, it's been a sons. while. Not from a lab, but rather a dissection table, giving them the powers and skills of their associated Primarch via a gene seed, a special organ carrying the genetic the makeup of their Primarch. Seeds and, in you them. know, their seed. So if Jagatai Khan of the it. White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast. This is the dude that was lost in the void from last, what I last remember of him. Absolute badass. He's killing everything in the other legion, other area, the void. I don't remember what it was called in 40k. God damn. But y'all know what I mean. Asked Hopefully he came back alive. Space Marines also want to go really, really fast. Quick. I should note that I am only referring to the legions this time around. If you're interested in sub-factions like, let's say, sub the Black Templars, then the it's not going to be here. However, I do Gura have an excellent Black Templar video. I'd argue it's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It goes should through we the check whole it out? lore, everything about them. It's a very long video, and I'll put it in the description. Just look up Black Templar video in the description. You'll get what you need. And now, with the easy explanation out of the way, let us begin with our first Legion. The Dark Angels. Dark Angels. Allegiance. I don't remember these loyal. guys. I remember the Blood Angels or Blood something. I don't remember these guys. Not loyal. Primark, Lion loyal? Johnson, not loyal. I'm confused. A, duelist, a knight. A real asshole, I'm not gonna lie. The single word descriptor. <laughs> Paranoid. The Dark uh. Angels are our first legion, hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Calabam. Their Primarch, Lion L. Johnson, is what happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. He is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall dick. There are few situations he isn't prepared for. <laughs> and few fights he isn't wait, ready to lead. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this the dude that was in stasis for like a million years? head on. This makes the Dark Angels have a very Knights of the Round Table vibe. They look like the Knights of old with these large Damn, suits of power do, armor, often donning robes and hoods. Their names also follow this. They have like Ezekiel, Azrael, uh, Belial, Samuel, Belial. and so on. However, the common thing associated with Dark Angels are the Fallen, a part of their faction that turned oh, traitor man. against the Imperium, and they are very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence. Fallen? 
What fallen? Never heard of any fallen. Do you know about the fallen? We're gonna take you away and mind probe you to make sure you have never heard of the fallen. They definitely don't exist. The mind is not the only place to probe, probably. They do exist, which they don't. We will find them, even though they don't exist. They love Understood. their interrogations. They thrive. What fallen? Lionel Johnson fallen. is a scorched earth policy sometimes, and it's given sometimes. to his sons in force, which makes sense mm. considering that when the lion heard of a chaos primarch on a homeworld different primarch, whose mom was there, he was like, blow it up. Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special group where they formulate themselves. <laughs> it seems to be a lot of characters in 4 that that's pretty much how they do things. Is something bad's over on that planet? Eh, no planet, no problem. The three different factions, the Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, Damn. tough phalanx, the Raven Wing, fast jet bikes and flyers, and the Green Wing, which is your the standard green Marines. Wing. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 people that have a multi-tool, they instead have 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. If you like being Makes suspicious sense. about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a whole lot of deep knight type lore, run the Dark Angels. The One Piece! The Second Legion? The One Piece is real! Our is Second it? Legion well, is a special it yet. one. If you can see, yeah, Wait. the numbers... Oh, was that the Alpha Omega dudes? The twins in the Secret Legion? Please don't skip them, they were the most interesting Eleven. one. The Emperor's Children. Allegiance, traitor. Oh, shit, yeah. Once you start seeing this, uh... This was on Siege, what was it? It was Slanesh. Right, these are the colors of Slanesh. Primark, Fulgrim. A perfectionist. An artist. A sneaky, sneaky snake. And the single word descriptor? Oh, that's a red dude. The Emperor's children are all about the pursuit of perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in artistry, and perfection in every really other section? aspect of life. Their armor is a gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their ships have spires of Damn, gorgeous marble bright. and gold statues in their honor. Fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things. And I mean, look at him. Can you truly tell me that he is not perfect? The hair, the features. As Primarchs go, he is the the cock. One you look at, and if wait. 40k had a wait here, he looks like a goddamn woman. What the hell? Guy that would give you the best sex Where you've the... ever had and never call you back. This is the fucking guy. Which is why this pursuit of decadence <laughs> led them to the evils of <sighs> chaos. Yes, Emperor's children are our first chaos legion, and not just a normal one. One devoted to one. you guessed it, Slanesh. Oh, it was Slanesh. Of pleasure, god of unspeakable excess. The Emperor's children in their pursuit. Yeah, she fucks, he fucks, it fucks. I don't are know. now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanish's great will. They torture and Damn. maim to feel perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection sonic weaponry. through sound. And they slaughter, aiming for perfection huh? in war. Fulgrim himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. A demon Primark. Home is a snake now. Do snakes have cocks? What the corrupt? Let's forget that. His Let's ignore that. Will by ignore himself. that, please. As far as Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, horrible they even people things at this point? to anyone and everything. In fact, like? they're such trolls that their Damn. battle cry is for the Emperor, despite Bruh. being horribly mutated and corrupted. If God, you've ever damn. taken a little too much of a drug or or maybe the music at a concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason, you just take all those things and you dial it and you dial it and you twist Above it and 100. the knob breaks. And that is the Emperor's Children. God is dead. Iron Warriors. God remains dead and we have killed him. The Iron Damn. Warriors. Allegiance, oh, a traitor. Primarch, Percherabo, a warlord, Perturabo. a siege smith, an incel. Single word descriptor? God, I siege. siege. Continuing the trend of our Chaos mm. Legions, we have the Iron Warriors God, led damn. by Primarch Percherabo of Olympia. Looks to like understand the Iron though. Warriors, though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man. Oh, that was the arena crazy guy? 
And so bitter, coffee beans run for light. A man who hates the world and everyone in it, who never got recognition for his deeds, who hates no, his brothers that was and hates their accomplishments Damn. even more. Everybody? Someone so laughably petty, so incredibly bitter, that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy... We didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. Uh, Horus? So Horus was the emperor's favorite yeah. son, right? You Traitor. know, the emperor walked into his room. Horus said, Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton. God and she damn. loved me for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it kind of played out something like this. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! And then it started playing out a little bit more like this. Let the seas boil. Let the stars fall. What is that from? Oh, it takes the last drop. God damn, what was that home? What was that home you want? His eye was huge. Oh, my blood. Yeah. So Iron Warriors, the Horus Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire oh, fact. Okay, so he's competent, but he's evil, which is pretty bad because he's competent for the bad guys shim that's the personification of brutal industrialism where you serve the legion until your dying breath you build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons just to take them and trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder this is a thing <laughs> what <laughs> Damn. They do. They summon demons to trap and use as shock <laughs> troops. The Iron Warriors are siege oh warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons. That's they are crazy. tanks. They are turrets. And they don't die. They hate Imperials. They hate Imperial Fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? No! No, I don't! They are bitter incarnate. <laughs> Perturabo oh and God. Iron Warriors don't serve the Chaos Gods because they uh. like them. They serve them because fuck you. Come on, That's guys. why they do Let's it. Go. Not another speeding ticket. I'll hey, the white court, scars. I don't think they're gonna accept. I remember these dudes were loyalists. Gotta go fast as a medical condition. The no white scars. Allegiance, loyalists. Primark, yeah. Jagatai Khan. A speed demon, a plane strider, a roast god. Single word descriptor. God? Speed. Hailing from Chagoras. The white like scars are all about speed. They love melee, but they love it even more if when they are speed. doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder. Or <laughs> honestly, just running really damn fast. The damn. white scars are honestly forgotten about a lot. And that's lore accurate. Why? They are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they, they engage in. Eagle. They Bro, engage in Imagine it? how big that ego is considering how big uh Space Marines are. Hey, you go, it's fucking gigantic. It's probably a normal human size. Because it's their duty and because they love it. Not Damn. in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it, but in the thrill of the fight. They are known as the laughing killers mm -hmm. because they ride into battle with a smile on their face and a chuckle in their throat. And as you can tell by their Damn. Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based. Remove horses and replace them with motorcycles and land spears and that's your style. They are heavily based <laughs> on the old times of Genghis Khan and consider this is 40k and everybody's evil. You know, that fits. The white scars yeah. are actually physical scars Only killed a lot on of people their body, back in the going day. back to their heritage on Chakoras. The Khan himself is kind of a dickhead, but, but a reasonable one. He thinks ahead, he's intelligent. Pretty sure most people in 40k are absolute cocks. He's patient. He is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments mm. from the rooftops, which I mean, is what makes him. He looks like a badass, though. Like, come on, brother. The white scar is dangerous. Looks his awesome. skills are kept at bay, only to be truly shown when the time is needed. The white scars are a forgotten legion often, but that doesn't diminish their that accomplishments. Looks weird. All it does is surprise those who underestimate them. Speed, awesome Mongolian vibe they got going on. And if you really like to stab people, that's the white scars for you. Shameless thirst break. This is dog. Wolf. Space Wolf. wolves. Wolf, bitch. Hey, these guys are also loyalists, I think. The space Wolf, wolves. Bitch. Allegiance, <laughs> loyalist. Primark, yeah, let's Demon go. Russ, a Viking, hey, this guy's a... savage, <laughs> the Undertaker. Single Kill word the dragon, I think, or some shit. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. Skater, how many units in the Space Wolf Codex have the space word wolf in their wolf name? Space Wolf Codex. 
the space that's wolves are the sixth out of how legion many? and hail from Fenris, a frozen Fenris. wasteland of a world with their primarch, Lehman Russ. Damn. I don't really need Joel to spend line. a whole lot of time talking about the space wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion the in wolves. the 20 legions besides the world eaters when you look at the, the space wolves, wolves behind wolves? what do you see do you see vikings in space yeah. you've done it congratulations you have found vikings in space but they have as much in common with a regular oh marine God. as an old day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body is so enhanced that you filter out poison and so you can't get drunk the space wolves the still and you spit toxic spit Crazy shit, brother. Special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human so they could get drunk. They have fangs in their mouths. They sometimes cannibalize their enemies. Yeah, yeah they, sometimes they that's eat okay. people because they gain hey, knowledge. Of it is okay to eat the enemies. Now, if they eat their allies, that's a problem. About them from there and about battle plans. The Space Wolves are savages. That work? They're raiders. They're eat Vikings. Brains? But despite all of this, they are loyal to their core. Go. Lena Russ is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories smile. and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can. But at the same time, he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes, he hit him with a fucking backbreaker to show his devotion, his devotion to wrestling. If you want Vikings in space, you found it. Play what? the Vikings in space. We're going to build the wall. We Imperial have no choice. Fists. We have no choice. These guys are build badass. It's also loyal. Build that wall. Build that wall. The Imperial fists. Allegiance. <laughs> loyalist. Primark. Rogel Dorn. Okay. Last thing I remember from Dorn was... He was fighting a, a enemy Primark. I don't remember which one. He disappeared. People said he was dead. Please tell me he's not dead. We need the homie alive. There's not a lot of the homies are alive. So we need this motherfucker. A builder, a phalanx, and he needs Beast. a hand. Single word yeah. descriptor, fortify. The Imperial Fists are led by Primark Rogel Dorn, their homeworld of Inrogal. However, they themselves are actually a fleet-based chapter with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous... I mean, that's probably smarter than being on a planet that can get destroyed at any point, right? Moon-sized like ship called the Phalanx. The Fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love to serve and the inability to be moved. Plus, I'll be honest with you. Of all the color schemes, theirs and the ultramarine ones look the best to me. Like the golden, it's not like bright golden. Looks so good, brother. Like, Global look at this Dorn guy. Is an architect, Fucking a master hell. builder, and basically a rock in brain and body. A lack <laughs> of humor or ability to lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong weapons. The fists are the same. <laughs> Take your archetypical American Marine style look a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power armor and a love for Damn. building defenses, and you have the Imperial. This. Why the hell are they doing at this Tudo formation in the future? They are immovable. I guess if it works. When you find a spot, they're ready to defend you. You Damn. can't breach them. Their Damn knowledge bitches. of defensive warfare is paramount. Without them, the Horus Heresy would have been so much more effective. But thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity, the Imperium lives today. And let's not forget that Iron Warrior and Imperial Fist rivalry. Want to know why the Iron Warriors are so bitter? These guys are the reason why. Hey guys, bring the thing! He keeps roasting him. Where is he going? Hey! I don't think you're supposed to use the gun like that, goddammit. Hey, that could have killed me! <laughs> hey guys! We missed! <laughs> <laughs> Dorn and Perturabo are basically two sides of the <laughs> The Chad Dorn uses mutton chops to intimidate Sino. His part is out to betray the Emperor. He's brought making something. Alpharius and killed him. Huh? I'm missing words there. Rules through fear. Uh, lacks facial hair. Wears oversized something to compensate the same coin was a bit more level-headed and got better jobs if you want to be defensive to be good at everything space <laughs> marines are good at bolters heavy weapons oh vehicles God, you want a classic military fighting K. force so over the top i am having it's a very so over bad the top. day night lords i think these guys are the primarch was like batman like i think they're evil today is one of the worst days oh boy 
Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> the Night Lords. Damn. Allegiance, heretic. Primark, yeah. Conrad Kurz. A sadist, a vigilante, the presso espresso. Single yeah. word, fear. The Night Lords Damn. are my favorite legion, hailing from the Stromo and their Primarch, Conrad Kurz. They are a well, traitor legion. If I remember the lore behind this, right? The planet was a shithole even before it blew up, right? And that's why they're so fucked in the head from a planet known as the sunless world or the world of yeah. endless night. Nostromo is a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some, Yellow titty? some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. What's London? The only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The night lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through fear. Fear. The Legion's lesson yeah. has been lost bad, on them man. as the ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 hey, years. Yo, the rappers? Fuck, you know. Old. Murderers before they were even teenagers raised to become demigods. Now, fear is what they sow and flesh is what they reap. The Night Lords are Gum. They are the exact <laughs> opposite of Why they all your other regions. They torture and they maim and they flay because they think it's they fun. Flay. They run away often so they can Damn. come back and kill you with more numbers. They pray. What is happening in this picture? That looks like a bad head, but it's so small to the body. It looks weird as hell. They on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. They so are the pussies. antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. One time, a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle. And the airlocks opened, and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. In other words... It's raining, man! A legion of gangers and criminals. Oh, Add together a heavy Slavic influence to them. Hey! Hey! Hey, brother, we are not all criminals, goddammit! Okay? I haven't stolen shit! Okay, that's a lie. I've stolen some. Not a lot of stuff. It was a mistake. I stole a fucking stole some sweets from a store. I didn't know. I put it in my pocket. I forgot to pay for it. Okay, it's it doesn't count. And you've got my favorite faction. If you have not Ooh. done the dishes for fun. By the way, he gave them no positive things. He said nothing positive about those motherfuckers besides that they kind of look like slavs. Which come on, brother, love you as well. But why are they your favorite faction? Blood Angels. Okay, this dude. I remember the prime mark of this dude. Absolute beast. Chad. Also, they're, I think they're good. Five years. So Blood angels. People come over here. Well, what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't do dishes. The Blood Angels. Allegiance? <laughs> Loyal. What movie was that from? Sanguinius. An yeah. angel. A vampire. A dead a ass motherfucker. Single word descriptor? Blood. The Blood Angels are Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Baal, with their primarch Baal? Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic Damn, tale I mean, with one of the. Come on, brother! Look at that armor and tell me this dude is not an absolute beast. Looks awesome. Fuck. Best primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody, a genuine angelic figure who led his people to glory. Killed by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's eyes. The death of their Primarch led the entire Legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and created something known as the Black Rage. The Blood Angels degrade over time, experiencing Damn. something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood. As their minds degrade and break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. But they don't see it as that. They see themselves there, at their Primarch's demise, with At Horus him. in sight. And to them, I got goosebumps from that. I don't know why I got goosebumps for that, but they're absolute beasts. Vengeance. That space marine That's over awesome. there, that chaos space marine, Fuck him. that's Horus. Kill him. That orc war boss over there? Horus. Kill him. Kill him. That Tyranid swarm? 1,000 Horuses. Horai. Kill them all. Did your toast come out of. Horai? A little bit burnt. Horus I've been women with those guys. Your toaster. 
Destroy the toaster. Destroy Fuck it. That Do toaster it. Up. Do it. Kill your toaster. Put your dick in that toaster. This slow, debilitating disease takes over the blood Apologize. angels and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic-inspired imagery. They have chalices. <laughs> Wait, just because they're killing everybody doesn't mean they're Catholic. Okay, come on, let's stop. Of blood. They rest in coffins <laughs> and can even use though. psychic powers to sprout angel wings from their what? bodies. They are a tragedy That's through awesome. and through, and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. I got a diesel in Iron Hands. I don't remember anything about these dudes. Iron Hands. Okay, let me just click that. The Iron Hands. Allegiance? Loyalist. Primarch? Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and oh, not a great this. head on his shoulders. Single word? He lost his head. Bionics. Bionic me! Oh! The Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their Primarch, oh, Ferris Manus. Does Ferris Manus have an iron hand? You fucking know he's got an iron hand. The Iron Hands believe that the flesh is weakness. Ah, that despite all of their enhancements, despite all those. the things that okay. made them demigods, placing some of the flesh with bionics will allow Fair. them to serve the Emperor more. They go hard. I mean, in the future, it probably is. But I mean, technically, their flesh is a little bit better than normal people's flesh, so... Mm, question into marks. vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant Big walking space sarcophagi that have wounded space marines yeah. piloting them from the inside. Vehicles, metal upgrades. These are the things that make up this legion. Dope. Their tech marines have servo arms sticking out from all directions. They have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often replace limbs with metal ones, serving all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly Damn. nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. Man, listen, bro, so far you've said that for almost all of them. <laughs> I mean... I mean, Marines pathetic. are already normally pretty big assholes, but but they, they're a little bit up there because of their ugh, flesh, ugh, civilians made of flesh, ugh, ugh. because you see, the flesh is weak. <laughs> flesh is corruptible. Bionics, <laughs> the strength of thing, the though. machine is pure oh, and God. cannot so easily be corrupted. So if you want people <sighs> who have this little techno fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking coffins, hit up the Iron Hands. You understand, Commander? I was never here. Legion 11. God damn it, brother. Why, hello there. I have returned from, um, touching grass. Huh? I know. What is that? I'm pretty cool with the grass touching him. Now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. Really? Yes. What the hell was that? My World Eaters. Yeah, they don't sound happy. Okay, okay, so what's going on here? I think this is the... Their Primark was a arena dude. He went insane. So everybody went insane in the whole Space Marine chapter. So... I am a super evil, I think. The World Eaters. Allegiance? Right? Heretic. Yeah. Primark? Angron. A butcher. Angron. A slaughterer. Angry. Like, extremely. Earth-shatteringly. Unreasonably fuck-ass man. Single word descriptor? Anger. Cunt. Hey you! Oh. Yeah you! Are you mad? Do you just fucking hate everything? Do you want Not to really. murder everything in sight and get rewarded for doing so? Then you should join the World Eaters. Home planet of Nuceria and Primarch Angron, who if the name didn't suggest, is He's really angry. fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, forced yeah, to fight in this gladiator dude. pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain so that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, That's crazy. it caused him extreme pain. All his sons wanting to be- How does he sleep angry? Like this their is a dad, also put a version of these nails in their brain. So Morons. now you have an entire legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger slap them with a freight train of armor two goddamn chainsaw axes and you can see what's gonna happen yeah. it's no wonder they're corrupted by i mean they look amazing but anger corn they're honestly a surprisingly sad legion that i actually screwed up in assuming that they were all just angry murderers i mean they are but they didn't start out that way. Their core uh. corruption degraded their intelligence, their free will, and made powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but 
blood Crazy. is like frothing at the mouth psycho warriors the world eaters like i mentioned the space wolves <laughs> they, they wear their oh, concept God. on their sleeve they are angry they want to kill things yeah. they want to kill you and maybe some of their friends and understandable that's that's the faction. They're red, they're mad, they're gonna run at you and cause death. Someone tried to stab a space menu with a knife. I mean, you deserve to get chopped you up like in half, that, brother. You play the world You're leaders. Crazy. Or you like it because they were, you know, at one point a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer Damn. was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. Damn. I didn't finish college. And neither did Angron. Oh, it, it, it is. Hey, these are the... The main dudes that you see everywhere. They're pretty cool. I like this. Uh, they're also, their Primarch is uh, awesome. I don't remember his name, but he's dope hey, as hell. Hell, Caesar. It's not done by sunrise. I'll cut your balls off. He the also Ultra fucked the hell, right? Allegiance, loyalist, Primarch, Rabute Gilliman. That's how the yeah, other yes. An analyst, a diplomat, a yeah, blue He's an analyst, scout. if you know what I mean. Single word Elf analyst. Here duty when you see space marines on a box or just space marines in promotional material notice how they are always colored blue these are the I mean, blue you can't say that the coloring is not awesome look at these dudes come on the bright blue space marines the, these ones here the ultramarines especially in the like the thing is in such a fucked up setting with all the blood around the gore and all that shit seeing this bright blue clean armor i mean hey it does something to the soul, okay? We hail from the world of Macrog with their Primarch, Rabute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines are, are the white bread of Space Marines. The, the grilled chicken with salt and pepper. And this is by no means an insult. They are plain Jane, but that's also because they are so goddamn good at their job. Their skill for warfare is paramount, but so is their ability for damn. leadership. Gilliman for a while was a damn boring Primarch for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you don't win a war with without logistics, without supply lines, without trade. Yeah, that's what all the generals through all the universes have said. Yeah, well, mostly our universe. Logistics are one of the most important things in war. Because if you can't feed the motherfuckers, motherfuckers get angry and then decide to kill you. Or they just die. And then you don't have anything to lead a war with. Trade routes, without infrastructure and economy. You don't win anything without all that stuff, and Gilliman knows it. Which is why he has one of the largest standing empires in the Imperium, named Ultramar. Which is why his sons which, are the most working. Which also sounds goddamn awesome, doesn't it? Ultramar. He's above all the space marines, which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos. They and are good at everything and bad at nothing. They are great at everything. Other legions can do other things better than them, but they are good at everything. The most interesting thing about the ultramarines is their characters, as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of ultra depression for many uh -huh. reasons. Gilliman is, what? at the time of recording, the only playable Primarch currently on the tabletop and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the Lord. Loyalist side. He took Wait, one look at what there's only one of them? What about the other ones? As empires become and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced to lead everything he once hated. An Imperium <laughs> rot that's, that's bad, brother. <laughs> Oh. It's into its core with his sole responsibility to hurt. save it. It's kind of what makes him interesting. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if you want a simple, clean slate. Oh, uh -oh. I mean, that would be boring in most settings, but listen, you're in the 40k setting. Everything is fucked up. Everybody's an asshole. You being the one good guy that's trying to good, do good things makes you a weird in this universe, makes you something that's not normal. So that's why it's nice. I mean, I play a good guy in every single game, but I'm just like, eh. So that's Stinky, why I like them anyway. Funny guard. poop. Poop funny. Woo! The Death Guard. The Allegiance. Heretic. Hey, Primark. look at this loop. Hey, did you see the little motherfucker? I'm gonna go back. Cause it's a... Woo! The Death Guard. What is that thing? That's kind of cute in a weird, simple way. Guard. Allegiance. Heretic. Is he doing Primark? math? Mortarian. A Reaper. A Poison. An ungodly stench. Single word descriptor? Rot. The Death Guard uh. hail from Barbaros with the Primarch Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known for their incredible <laughs> oh resilience God. to damage. That's a lot of damage! Where the Imperial Fists were defensive thanks to tactics and posturing, the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon to the chest and, and just keep on moving. They are slow slow yet they are resistant which was only founded as a death guard captain 
Typhus, codename Dickhead, sold them out to Nurgle, god of rot and decay. Now, the Death Guard are a Nurgle-worshipping infected legion whose ability to feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away. They wade through gunfire, able to kill normal marines 10 times over and continue unharmed. All while Damn. spreading rot and disease in the name of their dark, yeah, that's Nurgle, very right? stinky master. Were the okay, listen. Just a quick thing. I know most of these gods and stuff from... Uh, I I used to play a lot of Warhammer Fantasy, so that's pretty much where I know the gods from. Death Guard enter, plague spreads. People get sick and they die. They spread debilitating disease to all around them. Why would a legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over, puking, firing out of both ends, and having their skin Damn, peel off finger. just by their presence? Entire oh, worlds infested with a zombie rot, swarms of insects that eat flesh and metal alike, all while the legion advances. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have all the evil gods. Nurgle has always been the one that's to me personally is like yeah if i was to die give me that 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 sexy bitch with the titties and the, all the other appendages okay i'll take so that slowly, not this shit fuck this painfully shit. allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they re even though i think in lore it's it's described that they feel happiness the nurgle followers while they're suffering through all the diseases and shit which is kind of weird right the lives they believe but, belong to them. Yeah. And look at Mortarian's model, dude. The man is baller as fuck. A gigantic moth with a gigantic scythe. Come oh, what is in his nose? Come on now. Oh yeah, the he does look like a badass, but... For my next Thousand Sons. Yeah. The main I'm evil dudes. Kill myself. The Thousand Sons. Allegiance? What? Heretic. <laughs> Primarch? Magnus the Red. Man. A scholar. Big a sorcerer. A fucking nerd. Single word descriptor? <laughs> Magic. The Thousand Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero, with their Primarch <laughs> Magnus the yeah, Red. This is the dude that fucked everything up, right? Final God of damn our asshole. four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the Changer Zeech. of Ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian Zeech. theming, the Legion themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form, reduced to just dust, piloting suits of armor at the whim of a sorcerer Damn. leader. The Thousand Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. Nothing. This is untrue. He has Wait, done he did everything wrong. He fucked up the main thing, right? The, the way line thing. I remember some stuff. He's the one that was supposed to fix everything and fucked it up. Much wrong. However, he is very sympathetic, mainly because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways Damn. and forever changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecraftian style abilities, the eyes everywhere and potent <laughs> spells to be cast at their Jeez. foes, where these are bolts of psychic lightning, reversing time itself, opening up portals to unreality or changing the very fabric unreality. of the universe. The Thousand Suns sorcery knows no bounds and they are very good at it. If you're a fan of like wizards, your classic style of spellcaster and you want a ton of them combined with a trash yeah, no. backstory and a Primarch but who, that guy has like Mortarian, a a looks gun. fucking baller. The Thousand Suns. He does look baller, but why the titties though? I don't get why the, uh, why the elephant titties. Are for elephant you. tusk titties. You fucking ass! There's Sons no of way you're a fucking cheater. Such a sore loser. You're a cheater. My dad works at Nintendo. The Sons of Horus, or the Luna Wolves, Horus. or the Black Legion. Allegiance, mm. heretic. Primarch, Horus, a warlord, a treasured friend, or the traitor Horus. himself. Single word descriptor, Cunt. assault. The Sons of Horus are the Salt. formal name of Horus's legion, hailing from the world of Chthonia. The sons of Horus themselves so were many blown up plants. The God strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. It was even said that if the sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, the Damn. sons of Horus are no longer because, well...
They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed. Oh, is the dude that fucked up like 15 invasions? I remember this dude. Where his father failed. The yeah, Black Legion failed, like, are still times. an offensive and assault based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard black and brass Space Marine, who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become avenues. a member of the Black Legion. Anyone no can swear allowed. allegiance to the War Master. Send you gain the fuck favor up, by not just one, but all four gods equally. Their famous line, equally. let the galaxy burn, is the best way to describe them. It doesn't matter Damn. what the outcome is. So long as the Imperium dies, the Black Legion has done its job. They are a legion formed from hatred Yo, and What is that? God damn. Fight with a clear goal in mind. As the Dark Gods are calling and the Black Legion are sure to answer. Hello. Do you have a moment? The Talk word Savior, Jesus Christ? bearers. No. It wasn't fucking optional! The word bearers. Allegiance heretic. Primarch yeah. Morgar Aurelian, a preacher, a fanatic, I don't much about this, dude. a choir boy. Single word descriptor? Zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion, led by Primarch Lorgar on the planet of. Hey, why look at me like that, though? Cultus. Don't worry, it's still there. Originally yeah, I don't believe you. With worshiping the Emperor of Mankind as a god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Oh, because shit. You know, he raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship him. Like, Wait. Could you imagine if, if God well, actually showed up and was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed the whole thing. Didn't he do that shit, though? In the original Bible? Whole didn't thing? he blow like, up some shit? Do your head. But there are gods that I don't that remember what he blew up, but he blew up some shit. And reward those who do. The war remember. bearers are chaos read the Bible. worshipers to a T. All. Chaos gods. They specialize in demonic rituals, the summoning of demons, and the mutual possession what of the their own troops. They welcome demons to their bodies to fight as one. Damn. They exalt the dark gods themselves for aid. And guess what? They answer. In the world of 40k, Satan doesn't just call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes on your couch. In the world of 40k, <laughs> your rituals will end yeah. with genuine results. The word That's how a lot of plants get destroyed, right? One dude starts a ritual and then there's like one demon, then there's 50 demons, then there's like 30 million demons. There's know this. And they know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark baptism, the gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They bring forth demons. They bring forth possessions. They bring forth the power of the neverborn, the damned, corn? and those that hide in the dark to bear Looks against like the Imperium. Lorgar sits there smiling as the truth he always knew the existence of gods and uh. the importance of faith is a reality and it is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy Damn. Damn. the salamanders flamethrowers awesomeness dope ass motherfuckers Fire. and their dude mark. use a hammer a big Fire. ass hammer exclamation mark. <laughs> help me the salamanders yeah. allegiance loyalist primark Vulcan, a forge master, Vulcan. a behemoth, a very huggy boy. Single word descriptor? Fire. The Salamanders hail from Nocturne, a volcanic Nocturne. planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. Still they there? are the largest of the space marines, not due to mm. numbers, but rather size. Uh -huh. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef, by far the largest of all the yeah, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they need a bigger long thought for him, bro. Primarchs. However, God, don't damn. let his size fool Big you, boy. as he is also the kindest. Like Salamanders heart, have the juxtaposition hearts, of looking frightening, hearts, being yes. larger than other marines, while also boasting an ashy, like, damn, cold look at those eyes, skin though. and blazing red eyes, while simultaneously carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be spooked, but in reality, they are by far the kindest of all the legions to those civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike Good 
guy. other legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the salamanders spend significantly Aww. more time trying to save them, often taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions Damn. of it. They also have the very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine. They yeah, I remember that. They care, which is the funny part, because the seven and a half foot tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says, you have nothing to fear, young citizen. Take my hand. If you enjoy fire, melting things, and being the nicer of the Marines, <laughs> Salamander is up for you. And looking awesome. Raven Guard. I don't remember these dudes. Saga, sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. The Raven Guard. Allegiance? Loyalist. Primarch? I was sure about that. Porax. A raven. A shadow. An industrial dance, DJ. Single word descriptor? Stealth. The Raven Guard are Swing? the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance 19. with Primarch Corvus Corax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite mm. this, their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. Not very stealthy, yeah. They are named after, of course, what the Raven that? and embody the wait, entire wait, wait. That was the dude from Sonic. The little smart. Hedgehog. As a herald of was death, a hedgehog. they was are a stealthy, box? patient Bales, hunters Bales. that have no problem with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is mm. at hand. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves yeah. people in one ton of power armor, but they find a Isn't way. One that thing, more than anything more. should not be used to show how ridiculous 40k is even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at the their top. jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, if you want, you know, edgelord marines with the long black hair without cut, pale able. skin, ravens everywhere, if you want to field assassins and snipers abound, then the Raven Guard are for you. Look at this dude, he's so cute. Oh, the Alpha room. Legion. Okay. It could be you. It okay, could so be these are the ones I think that are like the sneaky ones that people are saying they're traitors, but we don't know. Kind of, I, I don't know. I remember some more stuff. These are very interesting. We don't know shit about them. I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? It was obvious. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance? Heretic. Primark? Alpharius and Omegon, saboteurs, destabilizers, they're in your walls. Single word descriptor. Nah, I got espionage. communist walls, brother. Finally. I used to do that shit tough. Legion, the Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs who were split as twins. The Alpha Legion are heretical. We think and specialize in shit. destabilization so of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch. Damn. All of skin, shaved head. All claim to be Alpharius. All <laughs> are liars. They make the largest use of <laughs> sleeper cells and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions, because it's extremely easy to take over a planet when you poison our water supply, burn our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses! Where the Wait, how did they- Wait, first off, how did they burn your crops underwater? Raven Guard use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies. The Alpha Legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you could imagine from a hardcore spy movie or, or Cold War level espionage. Being Alpharius James is Bond, not only an bald. honor, being Alpharius is a requirement. There's a story of someone chasing down an Alpha Legion agent for years upon years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer, because this was the plan all along. Damn. To kill him and take his spot. We're talking Damn. facial reconstruction surgery. We're talking hacking. We're talking political assassination and impersonation. Everything. They are space marines in name only, because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the Alpha hmm. Legion is interested in. In fact, the Alpha Legion and is interested in you not even knowing that the Alpha Legion is a thing. I oh, shit, am, am I Alpharius. Dead? You are Alpharius. Am We're I? all Alpharius in his Lord's glorious army. Thank you everyone so much for Wait, watching this video. I hope- Bro, it ended so quickly. God damn, 40k is so interesting. Anyway, let me know if you should check out some more 40k. I'm quite curious what you guys think about it. And 
which is your favorite legion let me know in the comments anyway i'll see y'all next time hope you all enjoyed this like comment subscribe and have a good day everybody Bye bye